Hackers managed to obtain personal information and nude photos of actress Leslie Jones and then proceeded to hack into her website and post uh, said images and personal information. According to the New York Times, the hackers inserted a picture of the gorilla Harambe on the site and exposed what appeared to be explicit photos of the actress along with pictures of her driver's license and a passport. Now, uh, so far, there hasn't been any comment from Leslie Jones or her representatives, but what we do know is that uh, the information, the personal information that's been posted is consistent with some of the public information that's out there. And it's problematic because, of course, it gives people the ability to steal her identity and make her life a living hell. And, of course, there's the extra layer of the nude photos as well. We don't know how they got their hands on this information or this content, but we know that they did this to her website and her representatives shortly took the website down. Okay. Uh, that's interesting because yesterday we did a story about um, racist memes about Harambe. And uh, we were told by some folks on the internet that, mm -hmm. oh, you guys are so humorless, you don't understand that racist memes about Harambe are actually not racist, they're the opposite of racist. Right. They're meant to deconstruct racism or something along those lines, but what would I know? I'm a simpleton. Um, and so it, now they take this person, Leslie Jones, who they've attacked before in racist ways, and they put Harambe as her picture. But I'm sure that that is not racist. I'm sure that's the opposite of racist. Yeah, look, let's keep it real, okay? This whole movement online, on social media, these so-called alt-right individuals, the people who go on and on about regressives, the people who go on and on about social justice warriors, they're sorry, hateful human beings. And they want to be able to go online and say bigoted crap about Muslims, about black people, about anyone who's not a skinhead white person, right? And and then when anyone criticizes them, oh my God, it's free speech. You're you're. Oh, why are you calling me racist? You're just trying to shut me down. You're trying to shut me up. You're trying to censor me. That's what you're doing. You're just calling me racist or a bigot. So so I don't speak. No no no. You're not in favor of free speech. Okay. You're a clown. You want to be racist, and you don't want to face any of the consequences or the criticisms that come along with it. And by the way, regarding the First Amendment, please, for the love of God, read the Constitution and understand what the First Amendment means, okay? Twitter shutting you down is not violating your First Amendment rights. The government shutting you down is violating your First Amendment rights. Stop being such a fucking idiot. So ironically, they love to be the victims, right? Love it, love like, it. I, I, you can't criticize me, I have freedom of speech. Yeah, but wait a minute, so do we. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, you have the freedom of speech to be a racist. That doesn't mean that the Constitution pr gives you a halo where you're not allowed to be criticized. What, do you need a safe space? <laughs> have you been triggered? Okay, so the reality is, yes, you're allowed to say racist thing. It's a free country, that's right. true. And we're allowed to call you racist when you do that. Yeah. So Just I'm sorry if you got triggered by that. And so, by the, by the way, part of the reason they attacked Leslie Jones is because she had the temerity to fight back a little bit. Mm -hmm. And so they're like, how dare you? We're going to rip you down. And so these are, it's a mob mentality and it's one of the worst you know, guys out, out there, these guys who think, oh, there's no consequences. And in this case, I hope to God there are consequences. The part that makes me the angriest, her personal information is hideous, 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 because, hey, listen, you idiots. You all think you're wonderful and clever, et cetera, and let's give you the benefit of the doubt for a second and say you're not going to do anything stupid and irrational and physical, right? Mm -hmm. Are you absolutely sure that all of your alt-right friends, that they're all mentally stable and that when you give out where she lives, that one of, one of those guys is not going to show up where she lives? You're positive of that. That's why you think there are no consequences to giving out her private information. Look, I would argue that anyone who spends every single moment of their day on Twitter masturbating to the pain and suffering of other people are not mentally stable. Yeah, yeah. and <laughs> perhaps somewhat likely to take actual physical action. Exactly. Okay, let alone, and, and, we can, and I'm not going to let alone. I, maybe the worst part is the explicit photos. That is such a gross violation of privacy and breaks laws. So now, whatever the jurisdiction is, it'll have different laws and they'll have to figure out what laws apply. I'm not saying throw the book at them in, with laws that don't exist. I'm saying if they violated a law, they should be prosecuted to the full extent of the law because the internet is not a law-free zone. You don't get to libel people on the internet and go, <laughs> but it's the internet. 
right? You don't get to violate people's privacy in a way that is illegal and then go, <laughs> but, I, but I, was, I was told that this is the internet and that there were no rules. No, you still live in humanity and you still are a part of our legal pro, uh, process and our community and our country. So yes, you have to follow the laws. And if they broke any law doing this to Leslie Jones, they should be in prison. Oh, but I got freedom of speech rights. No, your freedom of speech rights do not extend to taking her explicit photos and putting them online. You don't have that right. Yeah. That isn't freedom of speech. That's something else entirely. So there you are look, there are laws, um, and there have there has been precedent in cases similar to this. There have been hackers that have gone after you know high name celebrities, public figures, and they've put nude photos out, and then they get sentenced. And in some cases, they get sentenced to several years in prison. And then people get all upset about it. But you're breaking the law. You don't have the right to invade anyone's privacy, and no one has the right to invade your privacy. Okay, these are the laws that we have to deal with. And if you don't like it, that's too bad. And, and they're positive that the entire world is wrong except for them. So Questlove supports uh, Leslie Jones here, Paul Feig, of course, director of Ghostbusters, of course, supports her, uh, Pat Oswalt, Katie Bear, but no, everybody's wrong, everybody's wrong. Pat Oswalt, who's a, you know, seemingly a terrific guy, a funny guy, no, nope, no, nope, whatever, no, yeah, regressive, but a social justice warrior. Because you care about somebody and you don't want to destroy their lives, that doesn't make you some sort of like, victimologist or whatever you regressive what that makes you is a decent human being who has empathy for others instead of a sociopath who thinks that there are no laws on the internet and they could try to shred people's lives because of a disagreement online yep. and make it real by actually threatening their safety and then but oh no no nobody's the safety threat no, I didn't do it I mean I just gave you all the ways that you could hurt her I didn't do it I didn't do it you know, and then me a racist just because I called a African American woman a gorilla I compared her <laughs> it's so silly of you not to understand that that's not racist really okay I don't know why we're even continuing this the most obvious thing in the world but JR what do you think is it slightly racist to put a picture of a gorilla in 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 place of Leslie Jones picture it might be mm. outside chance, but the the, the other part of us is think about, um, you know what she did that was so egregious to start this whole thing, like maybe we forgot, um, she got a, a, a cast member slot on SNL. That was the egregious part. Then after she got that role, people got mad because there was this push to get a black woman on SNL, uh, and after that happened, then number two she did well, uh, number three she got rehired to continue to do it. Then she started getting movies. She got fame mm -hmm. and she got recognition for her talent. That's what she did wrong. That's where this came from. Yep. Because she did well. So the whole thing about, you know, I, I sometimes I get tired of teenagers and 20 somethings talk about haters, 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 haters. But this is the basis for so many trolls online. It's yes. just haters. They dislike their life so much. They're like, how dare this person who I still think is beneath me because of who she is? How dare she get recognition? How dare she have success? in this country. That's not for you. I need to destroy you now because I have nothing else. All right, one last thing. I will now support everything Leslie Jones. I mean, I've never seen her. I, I don't watch TV anymore, so I don't watch Saturday Night Live. Mm -hmm. And I didn't happen to watch Ghostbusters. I saw her in an ad and I was like, oh, I guess she must be famous. From now on, I, I, even if I don't have time to go to the movie, I'll go pay for a Leslie Jones movie, grab the popcorn and go back to work, <laughs> okay? I will do whatever it get takes to support Leslie Jones. <laughs> but I gotta Make get sure the popcorn, the popcorn. <laughs> let's get, keep it real. Support independent media by becoming a member of the Young Turks at tytnetwork.com slash join.